Now let's talk about our Arc 2E. Now the Arc 2E, uh, it's still a pretty powerful device. Uh, with uh, It can display up to 24 menus, each with up to 16 items, and can control basic audio functions as can the Arc 3. Now, and setting up to remote control is exactly the same way you would set up your Arc 3. You would right click on your parameter and select the Arc 2E as your device. And then once selected, it appears in the remote control manager as an Arc 2E, by default, the address one. You can change the description much like you can with the Arc 3, and you can change the address. Well, the address is changed differently in the Arc 2E than the Arc 3. Now, on the back of these units, you have two dials. By default, they come from the factory. The tens is gonna be in the zero place and the ones are gonna be in the one place. And you are required to make sure that each device that you have on the network matches those addresses. Then we move on to the menus. It's effectively exactly the same as setting the menus in the ARC-3. There's no dynamic menus, as you can tell. Um, we do have the ability to set and edit the menu items, uh, as you can see here but we can't add uh, different fonts. Uh, you're restricted to one font. You can't add uh, images, of course, but you can also change the remote control number. And again, you can not accept change values until a menu button is pressed and you can wrap around uh, menu volumes. And then down here, this is where you can set your changes. Like if you want to limit the low and limit the high controllability by the end user, as well as setting an initial value. And of course, here's your enumerated menu. Uh, each menu item can be moved up and down. You can add an item, remove an item. You can change your uh, item names, of course, and the item value. And then again, you can control presets much like the ARC-3. And of course, the preset area, uh, it's effectively the same as the ARC-3, as we mentioned earlier, where you can change the uh, selected menu item name as well as the preset that it triggers. and change the order up and down. You can also change the menu brightness. All right, and then we have the inactive behavior. Uh, when the unit is not touched for four seconds, uh, you can click once to reactivate and you can change the inactive brightness as well as the idle behavior. You have two choices, uh, idle when not touched for 10 seconds or 30 seconds. And again, you have the revert to first menu and as well, you can change the display message when it's an idle. So with that, I'm gonna let everyone go and have a fantastic day. So take care.